Hi everyone! So today I thought I would make a quick little video and I wanted to talk to you guys about how to somehow convince your parents to either let you get a hamster or really any pet, I guess. I've been having a ton of these questions asked by you guys, whether it be through my Snapchat or um, just through the comments on YouTube. Thought, why not make go ahead and make a video since I have not made a video like this before. Yeah, that's what we are gonna be doing today. It's just gonna be some of my tips, you know, it's not, something that I guarantee you is going to totally convince your parents. I hope that throughout the video it will somewhat um, kind of give you an idea on you know how to approach your parents and things like that. So let's just go ahead and get started. This tip that I wanted to talk to you guys about is I know that when I was younger and I had to ask my parents for you know whether it be a hamster or any kind of pet that I wanted um, when they said no to me the first thing that came out of my mouth was why? So the first thing that I would recommend doing is asking your parents why, but not in a crying type of way like I did when I was younger. Just say you want a hamster. Um, go up to them and just, you know, sit down and have a chat and just ask them why they wouldn't want you to have one. Through their answers, it's going to kind of give you an idea of why they personally do not want you to have one. Then you can kind of think about what they had said to you and then kind of go from there. Just say for an example, they would say, well, you're not getting a hamster or a pet because um, you're not doing very well in school right now. If that were the case and the reason, you know, I definitely recommend, you know, proving them wrong and then getting some good grades or studying and, you know, bettering yourself in school. You can come back and say, look, mom, dad, I'm doing great in school for a chance that we could talk about me getting a pet. It's just one example, but finding out or finding the reason why they don't want you to have a pet or a hamster is something I definitely recommend thinking about and talking and talking to them about. Go ahead and talk about tip number two. I actually did this when I was younger, so it actually kind of helped me out. So hopefully it will help you out with your parents as well. What I would do is I would sit down and I would write them a letter. You know, I would be all schmoozy in the letter. For example, I would write, Dear Mommy and Daddy, I love you so much. Pet that I really, really want. And I would go and list off some things as to why I love this pet so much, or I would list off, you know, the basic needs or things that I would need. Um, I would list off what I could do with the pet or the animal I was thinking about getting. And then at the bottom, I would kind of write, this pet I think would be good for our whole family, and then include reasons why. Parents, obviously, at the time thought it was super cute and adorable, and I was actually able to get myself a pet when I did do that one time. <laughs> Maybe you could try writing them a sweet little note of some sort and seeing if they would, you know, really take to it and then come in your room later or whatever and talk about, you know, this note that you wrote or whatnot. Um, it's definitely something you could try out. Third and final tip is I'm sure something that most of you guys have tried that is you know explain to them that you will save up your allowance money and you'll do it all on your own. A lot of parents might think um, some certain pets will stink up the whole house. They do say that you know just explain to them that you know you'll open windows if you need to or um, you're gonna clean the cages. Let them know that you are willing to use your allowance money and save up for this you know they might take it a little bit seriously and see that you know oh you know she's really or she or he is really interested in getting this certain pet because they are willing to spend their own allowance money on it money on it not money Next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is don't give up asking give up quickly they're gonna see oh hey 
you know, they're not even talking about it anymore. Um, I guess they really didn't want the pet after all, and I'm really glad I didn't get it. If it doesn't happen that week, try again a week or two later, and they'll kind of see, oh, hey, they are really interested in getting this pet, and they're keep, they keep asking me about it. If they do keep asking, they'll probably think about it a little bit more and, you know, talk to each other about it and hopefully come to the decision to let you have the pet that you've wanted for so long. Probably the main tips that I have for you guys. I'm sure there are plenty others and I definitely recommend checking other videos out on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of them out there on how to convince your parents um, to let you get a pet. This was a super quick video compared to my other super long videos, um, but I really wanted to squeeze this one in for you guys just because so many of you were have been asking about it. Hope you all have a wonderful day or night, depending on where you are, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye!